Now, I got a chance to give the Duotone Unity Lab a run. You know, the wing with the new material that has taken the wing foil world by storm this year, the Alula Gold. When you see the wing with its yellow leading edge, it looks all right. Maybe a bit shinier is all, but nothing special. That is very far from the whole truth about this wing. You know it immediately when you touch it or hold the wing. The feeling is impressive. It's stiff, hard and sense I've got you covered feeling. Now the difference of having the Alula composite material fully in the leading edge of does make an impressive difference. A weight saving at about 15% and increased stiffness by 50% according to Duotone. These are all strong numbers, all compared to Dacron that most manufacturers use and up till now has been the leading material uh, in, in wings. Alula has been used the last years in kites to make them lighter and stronger, so it's not completely new, just new in the wing foil wings. Okay, I think that what we do right off from here to clean up in Mallorca, we try each other's stuff, we get a piece of this stuff. So uh, I'm playing some wing with demo for a uh, few minutes and I will try now one of the strong points with integrating Alula in the leading edge is that the material does not stretch, meaning that the wing keeps its form or shape much better while riding than in traditional wings where the leading edge is made of Dacron. This also makes the wing a bit tougher to handle, like hard suspension in a car is tougher on the body. A stiff wing is harder on the upper body when riding. This could be okay if your aim is to get as powerful wing as possible. Now, if you like this video, click on the like button. If you want to receive videos, click on the subscribe button. You can also share the video with your friends and be an influencer. All things support the channel and my work doing more videos. Okay guys, thank you. All right, on with looking at the Duotone Unit D-Lab. When a wing keeps its form, it will be more powerful. A wing that deforms under pressure loses a lot of efficiency of po or power. For a wing that keeps its form is one of the important points for wing manufacturers to handle. As far as I know, the exception to the rule is the F1 stride, which, according to F1, deforms in a controlled way under pressure and in, into a shape that, in spite of deformation, keeps its high performance and stability. That's what they say. The bottom line is to use a material in the wing that does not make your wing lose its power when you're riding. Will the Alula material stay this strong after a year or more? So far, it looks like it. They've experienced of the material since some years in kites uh, made by Ocean Rodeo. The sensation trying this wing was great. I was very impressed. It is very lightweight and has a good feel about it. It is definitely very stiff and this makes it powerful. Very powerful. I started out in 13-14 knots but later it picked up to about 17 knots. And with the size 5.5 meter I was riding, it was strong, fast, really fast. Even faster than I wanted to go in the choppy conditions we had. I had to let go off some of the gas to manage. Now this is by far the most powerful wing I have ridden. Very appealing. Here in Mallorca half of, well maybe even a larger number of the guys that ride a lot are on the D-Lab Balula. I can understand why after testing it. Forget what you know about wings, the Uni D-Lab blows everything else out of the water this year. And for 2023, Ocean Rodeo, who is the designer of Alula, has improved the Alula fabric even more. We're very excited about is called Aris X. And this is a, a very light, very strong canopy. And I'd, I'd have to say it's all, you know, it's probably foil proof. Um, it's 10 times more resistant to tearing and tear propagation than traditional uh, canopy material. It's 40% lighter and it doesn't stretch. So what happens is in terms of power when you're pumping this, everything is translating through on your pumps. You can really notice it um, when you get out on the water. They also have a, a new material called Alula Graphlite. Not as stiff, but perfect to use in selected places 
on the wing. <laughs> wow, this is so nice. And there are there no downsides to this new and awesome wing? Well, any new wing may or may not develop different results as they are used a lot by riders around the world in different conditions. Not to forget heavy use in competition as well. We have yet to find out how resistant and how repairs of the Alula fabric will work as more wings get into the sea. But in the kite world they have worked well the last years. I want to mention the handles. They are hard handles, 26 cm long and they are two of them. Here, in my opinion, there is room for development or improvement. The handles are very short, also when getting up on the board at sea, reaching for the back handle, it's a bit of a stretch. Here a longer handle would be awesome. Also a longer handle would allow for more micro adjustments when riding. I don't think a long boom all the way along the strut would be better. Just a bit longer handles would be enough, maybe 7-8 cm longer. Finally, the handles are sticking out of the front of the strut and this could be painful for you or maybe even dent your board in a fall. They could be better integrated. See for example here how the new brand Bayou have integrated their rigid handles in their wing construction. The, the wing version 2 and the Aura have it along the strut and are more flush, longer, and that makes the handling of the wing really next level. Superior handling to all other wings I have tried. So who is the unit D-Lab for? Anyone who wants a very light, stiff and powerful wing. Well, who wouldn't? But also at the same time be willing to pay 15-1600 euros for it. For a beginner in the sport, probably not so many would go for this wing. But for an experienced rider who rides a lot, the Duoton Unit D-Lab will bring a lot of joy to your rides. Also, you would have to buy the Duoton pump as they have their own valve pipe. Now, what is the competition doing? Here are a few examples. Starboard Airrush have their wing nitro. The free wing nitro is our stiffest and lightest wing. The nitro features the all new Hokipa fabric technology, which was developed in conjunction with Challenge Sailcloth. The Hokipa fabric is an ultra PE material that is 15 times stronger than steel and two times lighter than carbon fiber. So light that it actually floats. This means that the nitro can be pumped to super high pressures for an ultra stiff, incredibly durable wing at a light weight. I also have ridden and it was good and positive sensations. RRD, Roberto Ricci Design, have just released a wing with Alula in the leading edge on the market. The Goldwing Y27. North has another type of material called N-Weave. Yeah, we're, we're super stoked. Um, we're introducing the first material made by our parent company, uh, North Sales, and they have an incredible new division called North Sales Advanced Technologies. This is for an inflated parts of our structure on our wing, on, on our new mode wing. Um, effectively, N-Weave is a UPE material, but it's approximately three times stiffer than a standard Dacron, um, which means you can really pump this baby up to 9, 10 psi quite happily without deformation and that means you've got an incredibly rigid structure. It also happens to be 40% lighter. So Mike was uh, give, showing us the new material in the booth. Yeah. Give us the lowdown of, of uh, how this new mode Yeah, well here you works. see it in action. <laughs> so it's a, it's a woven dyneema. Yep. Um, we get exceptional strength out of the airframe now. So that means you don't lose any energy. When you're pumping or when you're getting powered up, the tips start not bending away like you would normally use, uh, have it on a Dacron wing more. So you're gaining a really stiff frame. And with that stiff frame, there's a couple of benefits. It's the wind range you can ride on. So with a 4.2, you can almost take it up to 30 knots. In the new model for 2023 called Mode. We saw a prototype of it when Gunnar Biniaš came to Mallorca competing. You can see the two races in the videos I made from earlier this summer. There you see the new material North have in the new model mode. 
Needless to say, as the sport evolves, so does the material and in a fast pace. What we have seen, what we are seeing and what probably will come, I'm sure the best of it all lies ahead of us. Wing foil will be the biggest sport of them all. Mark my words. Well, there you have it. My impressions and thoughts after looking, feeling and testing riding this spectacular wing. If you buy it, you will not be disappointed, for sure. Or maybe hold out a while and see what the lineup 2023 looks like. We've already seen that they have developed a new Alula material called Ares X and Graphlite. Rumors are that the price will increase to over 2,000 euros for a wing. If you want the best and the latest, it will always be at a premium. This is Frederick Ekemar from Wingfall Mallorca signing off. Remember to like, share and subscribe to support the making of more videos. Thank you very much. And I will, yes, I will see you in the next video. Stay safe. Pero más que 16, 17 nudos, 5 metros demasiado. Very good wind. Wow, what a power. Aluda por todo. Aluda por el tiempo. That was incredible. That wind, that was probably one of the faster rides I've done. And I couldn't even uh, close the wind completely and I couldn't see it all the way. But my God, that was a really nice experience. For a really fast and the 375 and those things come alive. You know, I don't know what it's called. Good experience. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. 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 That's it.